How's it going everybody? My name's Eric. In this video, we're going to do a password removal, password reset, factory reset pretty much on this Microsoft Surface Go model 1824. And specifically for this video, we don't have the keyboard. This process will work on multiple models. So if you have this tablet or something similar, Hopefully this process will help. And if you haven't already, I kindly ask you to give the video a thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the password reset. So pretty much I have two accounts on this that I don't know the password to, and I don't need to keep the data. Data can get wiped. So it's just basically gonna initialize or reset the tablet. You're gonna go down here to this middle touch. It's like an arrow pointing down, arrow pointing sideways and like a three quarters of a circle. You're gonna hit that. We're gonna turn on screen keyboard on. Now we have a keyboard on screen. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to hold down the shift key just by pressing it. And then I'm gonna move the keyboard a little bit out of the way, hit the power button down there in the bottom right, and then we're gonna hit restart. And that brings us to this menu where we're going to go to troubleshoot, reset this PC, remove everything, and that is going to wipe all of the accounts, all of the data off of this machine and basically make it like brand new again. This process will take a while, so I'm gonna let it run and then I will turn the camera back on and come back. After hitting reset and your computer goes through a reset, it should go back to factory settings. However, this one gave me another screen saying that I need to enter a recovery key. I think there's some sort of en encryption on the hard drive and it's not letting me run through the reset. I'm gonna hit skip this drive. It brings me back to this menu. I'm going to go to use a device and I have a Windows 10 bootable USB connected to a USB to USB-C little dongle. I will put a link to this in the description. They're good to have and they're pretty cheap on Amazon. I'm gonna plug that in to the USB-C port and we're gonna hit EFI USB and now it's going to boot off of USB. And hopefully we will be able to reset from the USB. Took it a minute or so to boot. I'm gonna go next. I'm going to go to install because it is a Windows 10 installer. Okay, we're gonna accept. Hit next, custom install. Format the primary partition. Or we're gonna delete the primary partition and then we will install it to that and then this will take a while to run through. It's gonna copy all the install files and then install a new copy of Windows and hopefully that will have wiped the password, wiped the hard drive. Okay, it did its thing. It's now doing a restart and hopefully it will boot to Cortana and if it does, I think we will be home free. All right, I think we did it. Let's mute Cortana. We'll do a final setup and then this thing should be good to go. United States, US, skip. And then it asked me to connect to a network. You don't want to connect to a network too. I don't have internet because otherwise they make you sign into a Microsoft account. Continue with limited setup. I just call this owner because we're the owner of the computer. Don't need a password, decline. And then I turn off all of this stuff because it just advertisements and stuff. Don't need any of that. And we can unplug. It's already done everything from here. And while it continues to set up, I have not made a video on how to make this USB. It's not that hard. I will put a link to it in the description. You can just download the Microsoft Creative Tool and make your own Windows 10 USB for free. You just need a USB, you just need the USB pen drive and that file and it should work. But you will need this converter if you were to run into the same problem because you need that USB-C port to be a USB port unless you have the keyboard. I think the keyboard might have a USB port in it somewhere. All right, there we are, it booted. We are on a working Windows. No more password. Also, I don't have a keyboard. Can, Keyboard, please pop up. Okay, I had to turn it on tablet mode. 
Now we should have a keyboard. There we go. I do have to change it to tablet mode if I want a keyboard. But that's pretty much it. We did a password wipe Windows 10 restoration on this computer. Hopefully this will help you if you have the same or similar problem as me. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the reset, let me know about it in the comments section and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.